time, Denise, with Artist and Heart Paint Party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny, and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Hi, you guys. Hi, I'm Denise with, with Artist of Heart, and I'm so, so excited to be here with you. Tonight, we're doing beach glass. And I have a special guest and lifelong friend. My friend Chris is here from the shores of Lake Erie. She actually lives on Lake Erie and creates beach glass art, authentic Lake Erie beach glass. So you could bring up Chris. Jim's here behind the scenes. Hey, Chris. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so... This is your front yard, right? Basically, yes, yes. This is my front yard um, here. I'll show you. The sun's going down a little bit. Yeah. Looks this beautiful. Is, um, beautiful. What I do every day, <laughs> even in the winter. <laughs> and today's just a beautiful day. So tell us about um, tell us about beach glass. So I collect the beach glass that comes up on Lake Erie. Um, they tell me, people tell me, the research I've done, um, that it takes about eight to 10 years to get the beach glass, like, here, I'll show you a handful. I'll hold my phone. Can you see that? Oh, that's so pretty, yes. So they say it takes eight to 10 years to get it smooth. And um, so I, I have a feeling we're gonna run out of it soon because people are more conscientious. But um, there's lots of different colors. Um, the colors I find mostly, I would say is white and green and brown. Those are probably the most common colors to find down here on this beach. Every once in a while you find a red piece and that's like winning the lottery or like a dark blue piece. That's like winning the lottery also. So <laughs> so what, why, are the, why is there so much white and green and brown? I would say, so people throw bottles in the lake and windows like sometimes I find glass that still has wire in it and I don't know if you remember those old wire windows that like I I remember them like on my doctor's office door <laughs> it's like a white it was like a safety thing at the time um but people throw bottles into the lake so like a lot of the greens I would say are like seven up bottles or wine bottles or beer bottles there's so, there's hundreds of shades of green. Like it's amazing when you line them up all the different shades. And the brown, I would say is probably beer bottles. And white is just glass bottles, I guess. I find a lot of pottery too. Like people, I don't know, they dump dishes in this lake or something, I'm not sure. But I find a lot of pieces of pottery. Um, and tiles that have been worn down through the years. Um, and yeah, you find a lot of stuff. It's amazing what people throw in the lake, which is- No money good, though. <laughs> except it's, it's fun to find. So why is red so rare? 
read they say, so this is from my neighbors, they say that um, those were like the lanterns on ships. And that, you know, if the ship sunk or something, um, that's where the red glass comes from. That's what they say. And the blue glass, the dark blue, um, there's, they say is from like milk of magnesia bottles. Because back oh. in the day, they used to be glass. Hmm. And so, I had heard red, um, red from brake lights on cars. Those are mostly plastic. I think. Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's possible. And I should wonder how it gets in Lake Erie. I don't know. Right. <laughs> You'd be surprised what you find down here. My neighbors who have lived here, I've only been here a couple of years, but my neighbors have found collections of spoons and like, you know, sterling silver spoons and that kind of stuff, like all different things wash up. It's pretty amazing. And every day it's different. You can come down every day and find something different. And while you're, um, so you collect the beach glass and then you make art with it, right? Yes. yes. And I was going to, yeah, go ahead. No, that's okay. Um, I have samples yes, of your I, stuff. Do you have samples? Yeah, Jim, if, yeah, Jim, um, if you could put up the pictures, it'll say Chris one, Chris two, Chris three. I, I have pictures of some of your art. I think that's so cute. These are my birds. I do a lot with birds because, um, I don't know, I think everyone likes birds. But um, this is one of my big sellers. People really like the saying and it's a good gift for like graduations or like leaving the nest kind of thing. Um, and then I forget what else I showed you. I, I sent Oh, them. yeah, Jim, you can show, he'll, sh yeah, look at, that's like one of your big ones, right? This is one of my big ones. I just, this is one of my new designs, um, Dare to be Different. You know, in this day and age, I think it's important to, reiterate that especially the kids do you find your own driftwood as well yes i find all the driftwood everything yes the glass and the driftwood i find all down here at the lake okay jim you can show another one so That's that was a um red piece that is hard to find and someone got that one and they were very lucky <laughs> That's three times the price. I'm sorry? That costs three times the price. Oh, well, I should have done that, but I did not. <laughs> <laughs> we, I think there's one more, I think. Oh, yeah, the drink. <laughs> there that, you yeah. go. <laughs> I'm ready for a martini, I'll tell you. Yeah, so this is, people love this because it's, you know, it's beach glass and it's just a fun little, little picture. Most of my pictures are small, like three by four or three by five. I do some five by sevens, but for the most part, they're pretty small. And they're just little like hostess gifts, I guess, sometimes, um, or for someone that likes martinis. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay, Jim, you can put Chris back up there or because I don't want to keep you down there. Maybe um later you can pop back on at sunset. Totally up to you. Last night you I, said it was spectacular. Yeah, I will try to come back down. My phone is dying, but I will try to come back down. I'll go charge it and um I'll be back on in a bit. And if you can't, don't worry about it. But thank you for coming on and sharing your artwork. Sure. And you make me. you make jewelry too with it. I do. So I have a necklace on. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. This is a rare piece because it's blue. This one I kept for myself. <laughs> Milk and magnesia. <laughs> but I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Thanks, Chris. All right. See ya. All right, you guys. All right. Chris is my high school friend. We've been friends since ninth grade. 
and uh, she's a teacher and beach glass is her hobby. So she has been making them and selling them as fast as she makes them, especially this time of the year. So she, again, when people are graduating and Mother's Day and Father's Day, so uh, hers are in some local stores around Cleveland area. And um, I just wanna tell you a couple ways you could do this project. I was struggling a little bit with my overhead camera. So I will still try to work it out in a little bit, but I wanna share with you. So I do beach glass parties. So we do craft nights, like I do paint night in person as well as virtual. And um, I love her simple, cute little beach glass. You only need a couple pieces and a Sharpie marker. Uh, I just, you know, it would be a two hour craft night if I did that in public. So, cause it's so simple and easy, but they're so cute and people love it. So mine is a little bit larger and I have all of the supplies for mine in the carousel. And I put some frames in there that are a little bit smaller because I like to work a little bit larger. And this is just a sample. So you guys can use any size frame or any kind of frame that you want to, but you want to remove the glass from it. So I just um, have a frame here and I, you got to recycle this. Don't put it in the leg. Mine's just clear, but this is a frame. You don't need the glass to the frame. Now, when I'm doing an in-person job, I remove this before I go because I don't want anyone to hurt themselves. If you guys are doing this yourself, be real careful because the edge of the glass is very raw. So it's almost like you could get a glass splinter. So when you remove the glass, be real careful, put it in your recycle bin or use it for something else. Okay. So in your frame, you have a backing board and most frames come with a mat board. But they don't have a lot of times the white paper, right? So if I, mine did not, so it's brown. So you, all you need is cardstock. So heavier than drawing paper. It should be a little bit thick. This one's thick. Or when, again, when I'm in person, I use mat board and it's called backing board. And I have that in the carousel as well. So this is backing board. Okay. It's, it's thicker and it's heavier. Now Chris uses cardstock so she can run hers through the printer and you guys can actually type something up like what it's cheers or whatever, you know, happy Father's Day. And you can print it at, in the computer on the printer um, on heavy cardstock, but you don't want to use paper because it'll buckle with the glue. And again, she was only using a few pieces of beach glass. So that's why this would work. If you guys are going to use a lot of beach glass, you need a heavier stock. So that's why I use the backing board. Okay. So this is just an example of Something that, again, a frame of any size, you're going to cut your cardboard or your tag board to fit the back of it. I like to masking tape my paper to the back of the mat board just so it doesn't move around. So I would tape it down. I have some masking tape here. How's everybody doing out there? You guys, one night I'm going to come on here and I'm going to be brilliant with technology it always rattles me right before i have i struggle with the two cameras and jim helps me thanks jim for helping me but so, so kathy wanted to know um she said that she's uh where in lake, lake erie did she find the beach glass she goes i look all the time and she can't find it so she's she lives um around 152nd area and she's in Cleveland, in the city of Cleveland. But I know she also, so she's right there. And she said today the pickings were slim. So um, I guess it washes up on really windy days and it hasn't been that windy here lately. And, we, and it's been dry. So, right, Kathy, we're, we're not getting any rain for like the next week. But I guess when it rains a lot and it's windy, which makes sense, right? The waves wash in more and that washes up more of the glass. So, um, yeah, and then I just have friends. I was, where was I at? I went to Menor, uh, Menor Headlands, and I found some beach glass over there. But I have to tell you guys, most of my beach glass I buy. So I do find little bits, but because I do large parties, and I um, 
have sent these to people also. I uh, I don't enjoy putting art kits together, but I do it <laughs> for my member. I have a subscription group and some of my members wanted it. So, um, but I do it in person. And again, I need a lot of it. So you never know what kind of, I offer a lot of choices for people so that everyone does not make the same thing. And um, so I just want to tell you, so again, you can do any size. So this would be similar to what Chris would do. You would, again, I just, it doesn't have to be neat. I just did some masking tape on that cardboard to the mat board. And then this is the backing board for the frame. And then you can pop it in there. But it doesn't, you don't want to have glass on there, you guys, because it's not flat, right? It's not like a, a flat photo. The beach glass is going to be dimensional. So you want to remove the glass from your frame. All right, so this is a small one. And that's, because we're using a small one, that's why you can use the tag board, okay? And you don't have to use white, but I think white looks nice. Cress, and I Cress, like had a, Cress had a question. I guess he said, uh, or she said, Huntington Beach, Mentor, Headlands, or, and I may be butchering this, C-O-N-N-E-A-U-T, is that Cano? Caniat. Con Caniat, okay. Yes, and at Huntington Beach, I've had friends tell me Huntington Beach has a lot of beach. Thank you for that. So, and then again, we're having like great, today was 79 and sunny. So we've been having great weather. It went from snowing on Mother's Day and then all of a sudden just, that's Cleveland. That's Cleveland for you. It goes from a blizzard to, you know, tropical. Give me tropical. I'm done with snow. And then Father's Day, you know, it's going to be gorgeous out. So last year, um, I did make a lot of kits for Father's Day. A lot of people that were watching were like, oh, this would be a great Father's Day project. So how you could customize it, just as an example, I know Chris does a lot of birds too. So like this, you could put a little piece of glass for everybody in your family. And, and you could have everybody in your family make part of it, right? So, and then you give it to dad in a frame. But right now this is just the mat board because I wanted to show you guys. So when I'm in person, and again, you guys can do this by yourself. You can do it with a group. You could each make one or you can do a family project and then give it to dad for Father's Day. But what you want to do, the hardest part is coming up with the design you want to do. You can see how simple it is and it's really fun. It's kind of like a puzzle. So you can do it horizontal or vertical. This is one of the most popular designs. And then I'll show you the other one, um, the Queen Anne's Lace. So you guys, I use, look at that, real fine lines, Sharpie markers, okay? I um, have little stones on there. That's very popular. This one, seashells, okay? Look at that. So that's, and you guys, I bought like the orange and the blue. Sorry, I didn't spend all day at Lake Erie looking for those. I bought it on Amazon. <laughs> so my beach glass comes from Amazon, the majority, and the seashells too. So that's a popular one as well. Now, I use, I know I have it here somewhere. Oh, this, this is my favorite glue. You don't have to use this, Elmer's glass and porcelain glue. It's glass cement. I love this, especially because it never gets clogged, okay? So if you guys wanna try you know, some powerhouse glue, that's fine. But those big like cement type tubes, they get all gooey and um, they get clogged. And so when I'm, most of the time I'm doing this with women and they are very concerned about their fingernails. So we want to try and be as neat as possible. So I've never had a guy worry about his fingernails at a paint party, but I've had many women. So I, I just want to show you because this is really important. Look at it. The tip is really very nice and the glue is very nice and it never gets blocked. Okay. And when you have, you know, 50 people doing beach glass, you don't want to sit there and deal with unclogging glue. So, oh, this one's pretty popular too. Okay, but you guys can see how simple these are, right? 
And most of the time people are like, I'm not an artist. I can't do that. So this is so simple. If people want me to, you know, trace them out, I will. And I'll do a quick one here. Uh, but you can always look, look up Google images and look up some free images and trace it out. This one's really, really cute with different colors too. So like for the fall, if you want to do like an autumn tree, you can do all different colors. It looks really pretty. Um, I showed you that one. I show you my little birdies here. Of course, sham. We have a lot of Irish people in Cleveland too. So we do a lot of shamrocks. We got this little family here. Let's see what else. And I think, Jim, I think we have a few more pictures we could share. Oh, yeah. That was one of, actually, shit, that's Sue. Sue actually makes beach glass, comes to the craft nights, and she sells her projects as well. I thought that was really creative. And that's all her own handwriting. Some people think I have good handwriting because I'm an artist. I don't. I do not have good handwriting. But something wonderful is about to happen. I thought that was very sweet. So look at all those different colors, too. And Sue lives over there in Menor. So she's by one of the beaches that has awesome beach glass. Oh, these are so cute. Look at, she did a, um, this is a mother and daughter. And again, they came to an in-person uh, paint night and Willoughby and butterflies and then the seahorse. Just think that's precious. So uh, I love how creative they are. And again, that's why I bring so much beach glass, so many different colors and the frame and the mat and the backing board is all the same. Everybody gets that but their design is up to them and I'm there to help them. Just like here, you guys, I'm just here to inspire you guys and give you guys some ideas. But beach glass is really, really fun. Even if you just order everything and have your family over and, and do a project together. So again, all you have to do is come up with an idea, butterflies, dragonflies, bugs, um, birds, you know, and then you need some Sharpie markers, sketch it out a little bit. Look at how few lines there are. And you don't glue at the end, like it's a puzzle. So you just move around your beach glass until you get your design that you really like. And then um, after you lay it all out, then you can glue it down. There's another one. Is that the one I held up? No, that's a different one. Okay, so that one has seashells and stones and beach glass. Very thin, so that's a fine point Sharpie. And all the drawing is done first. So you would just, you know, you could have in your mind what you want to do, sketch it out, trace over it with Sharpie, lay out your pieces. And then once you get your pieces to where you like them, then you glue them down. That looks good. Yeah, that's, that's the number one design. Okay, that one, the Queen Anne's Lace is the number one. And some people do that design, but they add color to it. So it doesn't all have to be green. Um, Again, totally up to you. Pretty simple. You can even see the pencil lines are still on there. So you can sketch it out first, put the black Sharpie on. I would erase the lines before you start gluing, but whatever. It's okay. You could, you could erase it later. And that one, oh my gosh, that one I just love. This is a customer. And I love how she took the... Um, she took some wire or string, I can't remember, and made that little bird's nest. I just thought that was precious. So that one, again, is pretty small. And she did the tree with brown marker. So you guys can always use colors, colored marker, if you want to, to create something. Or you can use stones, whatever you want. You can use driftwood, like Chris showed you. She has driftwood. Oh, and there. All right. We're not going to talk too much about Christmas yet. One day I'll just do one just with the holidays. But I thought that's precious, right? So that's driftwood and green stones. So start looking. Start saving that beach glass. Oh, yeah. And these girls did hearts. And I thought that was really, really cool, too, because, and again, they had so much fun because they just picked out all the colors that they liked and they placed them together to make a heart before they glued it all down. One did it vertical, the other one did it horizontal. You could tell we have fun. And it dries really quick. 
So most of my um, in-person jobs are about two hours. And again, they could take a little bit longer if they want to, but usually everyone's done in two hours and it's dry and ready to go. So I'm gonna see if I can do this with you guys my, without, all right, I have this overhead camera here, but I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, Jim. You guys, every time I try to do this, oh, it, it just disappeared again. No, it, it went black again. There I am. So the last time I tried to do this, you guys, I called the police, okay? I didn't mean to, but I was hitting all the wrong buttons. All right, so now it's upside down. I, you guys, I am gonna get this together. Jim, who helps me behind the scenes, he is very, Dealcasters, shout out to Dealcasters, but he's in another state, okay? He's, and so he tries to help me, but you guys that know me know I'm a little bit challenged with technology. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to craft while I'm holding my phone, but I wanted you guys to get the idea of um, how to do this. So here's my mess. All my, look at, I have all these seashells, right? So there's my collection of seashells. I have some beach glass. I have a lot of beach glass, you guys. Look at this. Okay, here. Look at that. Okay, so there's, and I should have put styrofoam plates in my carousel, but the styrofoam plates are really, really nice. So you could just spread everything out and see it. And I have little stones. I love the orange. You could do a monarch butterfly that's orange. So it's hard to see the color on it, but you could see it when it's on the white plate, right? All the different sizes, different colors, and then seashells. What also, I always tell people, if you have a seashell collection, use your, use your collection. How personal is that, right? I mean, if you guys go to the beach every year and you collect something, use that to make a project. Right. So most of these seashells that I have here are from different places in the world that I've traveled to. I try to take at least a couple shells home. One time there was a, something alive in it. And yeah, I didn't mean to kill it, but it crawled out of my bag. And I was like, ah! you know, that was not fun. So let's make something. How about that, you guys? Okay. So look, I, when I buy the backing board, you guys, I buy a box of it. Okay. So I have a bunch. So the, again, this is the thicker cardboard. It's called backing board. And you decide what kind of design you want. Now, I'll show you guys the one that's so popular. So you could draw it out with pencil first. I'm sorry if I'm wobbly. Hold on, let me see if I can figure out how to do this. All right. There. Now I can... All right, so I have my Sharpie, but you could do it in pencil first. And I'm just gonna do it like a line like that. Line like that. Okay, so again, simple lines, wispy lines. You could put more, like you could put the center of the flower over here, or you could put a stone there. I've seen people make little bumblebees. This is Queen Anne's lace. This is definitely the number one project that I end up doing. And again, if you want to add more lines to it, you can. You could always put like little birds or a sun. So that's it. You sketch it out. Okay, you can use a pencil, then a Sharpie, and then you take your pieces and you don't glue them down yet. So I could use a stone on top of my marker if I want to, 
Let's see what it looks like. So there's just, just little stones there. And then I could put some of my green. And it doesn't have to be green. Be any color you want, right? Oh, Chris is coming back, you guys. Oh, because it's sunset. So uh, last night I was talking to her. I was like, oh, please come on and share your awesome beach glass and show Lake Erie. I don't live by the lake, you guys, but Chris does. And She's gonna come on, Jim. We can show Chris again so she could show the sunset. Hi, everyone. Okay, hey, Chris, you turn. I don't know how to flip my camera around, so. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Person, I think, but. And then there's some people out on a sailboat, pretty close to shore. I don't know if you could see that. You look like you're in the Cayman Islands. No one would know that's Cleveland, right? <laughs> Cleveland. I no, I thought she I was. I it. thought she was at the beach. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool down here for sure. What was when they had? I don't know. It was a couple of weeks ago. There was a big sporting thing from was it football that they had in downtown Cleveland, and people were like, they didn't know. They're they're like, wow, you guys have a lake. It's really nice, right? They, um, it's so funny. So my, I have, my son goes to school on the East coast and some of his friends came here and they were like, wow, like they're used to seeing the ocean, but they were, they just were super impressed as to how cool it is down here and how beautiful Cleveland, Ohio is. Yeah. People don't realize it, but it, it is beautiful. And that sun is beautiful. You, you can't look at it. Just, you gotta look at it. It's just setting. It's crazy how quick it sets, right? It's so fast. It is so fast. Yeah. So, so. Someone, someone was saying that they have found um, good beach glass at Huntington. Do you go to other beaches? I don't, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, like, I don't go to other beaches because I generally find enough here. But um, I need to, this summer, I'll probably do more once I'm done with school. <laughs> Yeah, soon. Couple more weeks, teachers. Couple Not even, weeks. right? A week? Oh, well, a week. Yeah, a week and a couple days. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be over in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All right. Thank you, Chris. Sure. Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Bye. That was awesome. All right, you guys. You know what? One night when I'm when I can do this better, I don't know if my phone's still working. Oh yeah, just a perfect shot. I, I'm not, I don't want to show you my neck, okay? <laughs> <You guys. laughs> All right, you guys, I am promise the next time, I'm gonna order everything Jim tells me to. I'm getting every high-tech piece of equipment. Look, I have every art supply under the sun, but when it comes to technology, ay ay ay. So anyway. And I go through it every time I try to do this. I don't use the overhead camera a lot for that reason. So usually it's just, I'm doing normally two dimensional, you know, drawings, paintings. And, but when I craft, I like for you guys to actually see, right? Let's do, let's do um, some color. You guys look at this bucket. Okay. So I don't even have a bucket. I have a Ziploc. I learned as an art teacher that everything needs to be in clear bags so you can find it easily. I used to box everything and I could never find, or white bags, no, no. It's gotta be clear, because then you can see what's going on, right? Okay, so let's put some color out. Look at all these colors I have. You guys, this is just a fraction of the stuff I have, okay? So this is really, really pretty. And if you guys look in the carousel, 
That's why I have so much different beach glass because, you know, pick what you like, pick the colors that you like. Or if you're making it a, you know, a gift for somebody, maybe the colors that dad likes. Dad's like blue. Am I stereotyping? I, I like blue too. There's no, there's no stereotyping. Blue's a good <laughs> Okay. So again, you want to make it with whatever colors you want and what, you know, but it's fun because it's like a puzzle. And then maybe I put, you know, an orange one in the middle there. And you could take all night or you can, you know, do it quick. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing around you guys. I forget I have a camera in my left hand. I'm like having fun here. Oh, this is so fun. Look at all this cool beach class. That looks like a shark's tooth. Did you guys ever find? I know it's not a shark's tooth, but it looks like one. Did you ever find a shark's tooth? We don't have sharks in Lake Erie, you guys. You know, teaching in Cleveland, the kids did think that, you know, creature lived in the lake, but not really. They don't. And Wyland, I don't know if you guys know who Wyland is. He's a famous artist who does like ultra, you know, like whales and sharks. And he does these beautiful nautical scenes all over the world. And we have one in Cleveland. I was, I was actually blessed enough to take my kids to go watch him paint it. And that was in the 90s. And it's still there. But it's a, it's a whale wall. And it's on Lake Erie, right? So a lot of people had a problem with them like the whale wall actually being, you know, something that you would find in the ocean, not in Lake Erie, but who cares? It's super cool. And we got to meet them. Okay. I don't really like that one. That looks like a, um, what are those flowers that eat? Oh, I almost had it. Like, Venus flytrap, Venus flytrap. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. Now, after you get all your pieces together, that's when my favorite glue comes into play. Okay. You just need a little bit, you guys, a little bit, and it dries eh, 20 minutes. It depends on how big of your glass is. So if it's a bigger, bigger chunk, you're going to need a little bit more glue and it might take a little bit longer to dry, but it'll be dry tonight. It doesn't take long at all. So when I do these paint parties, everyone holds up their pictures and no glass falls off. So it still dries fairly quick. Okay. How are you guys doing? Do you guys have any questions for me? Oh, I had a heart here too. I bought some glass hearts. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, no, no questions in the comments, but uh, people are uh, definitely tuning in. So. Oh, good, good, good. All right, so what are some other, th oh, is that my heart? No. Oh, you know, have you guys ever seen these things? Oh, let me see. Have you ever seen these glass beads? So I had some of these. Sometimes people put these in um, like their vase for flowers and stuff, but these look really cool on your project as water drops. So like if you, especially if you're using like a black mat board, but people love those too. So I always have those in my collection. Let's see. Now, Chris did just real. Oh, thank you. I'm so tired of holding that camera, you guys. Are you done? Look at. Thank you. Let's be done. My phone's so hot. <laughs> Jim, I need some of your technology. Okay, I need. I need some I of that. I like, have an idea. We'll. We'll. Uh, I've got an idea. I'll make your life easier. I need. I need that, you guys. I love the art part, but this whole setup of the technology. And again. All right, so I'm glad to be off of that. Oh, here's my heart. So look at I got I have these two, and I always have little hearts because you never know if someone's at the paint party, and again, it could be someone's birthday. Let's um, I want to put it on. There's another. 
backing board. You can see it. See the little heart? So you guys can, they can add this in the corner. Maybe if you're doing a Father's Day gift, you could put one heart and have everyone sign their name. Um, but I always have glass hearts too, on top of all the beach glass, on top of all the seashells. And um, yeah, so even if you are not sure, you can upcycle, recycle one of the frames that you have at home. You can glue the beach glass on the frame, or you could make a border on the frame. I'm trying to see, I don't have one here that has a border on it. But um, yeah. You guys, look at this one. Look at how, can you see how thick those rocks are? And look, it, they're not coming off, okay? I just didn't finish this one. So it doesn't matter how many rocks or how heavy your picture is. Just make sure you use enough glue and give it 20 minutes to dry and you've got yourself a really cute piece of beach glass artwork. Uh, yeah, this, this is one of my favorites though. Okay, because I, I got all of these seashells from, have you guys ever been to Sanibel? Sanibel is one of my favorite places in the world and they're known for their seashells. So all of these seashells are from Sanibel. So every time I see this, I think of Sanibel Island in Florida. It's like just outside of uh, Fort Myers. Oh, now they have sharks and whales. Yeah, and shark's teeth on the beach. So. I guess that's all I got for you guys for tonight. So I should have put Ziploc bags on there. But again, this is, look at this. Look at that. Yellow is a hard one too, you guys. Yellow is hard to find. So, yeah. And we'll do this again. And then I, I keep the bigger chunks in another bag. So you can see all my bigger chunks are in this bag. But I got, you guys, I order it all from Amazon. And I get some wood too. I don't think I have any of my samples here with the wood. So if you want words, you guys can print it out on cardstock paper. So that's what Chris does. She prints it out with her computer on cardstock, and then she glues the beach glass on that. Now, you guys, if you have bulk, like you're doing a craft show, you need 100 of them, you could take your original to like, Office Max or something and have them print out a hundred of them on cardstock because I think it's cheaper than buying ink. But if you're doing a few of them, do it from your computer. Okay. And just put like a, I don't know, a cardstock. I don't know what mine is. Maybe a 70 pound cardstock. I put some in the carousel. So, and I like white. I think that if you're using white, it really makes the, um, the glass and the color show up nicely. We so, got a, we got a good question from a, I don't know if it's Cruss or K-R-U-S-S. -S. Do you treat your glass with anything for a shine? I have heard of some who use baby oil or mineral oil or cover it with a lacquer or nail polish when finished. Wow. I have never done that. So actually, none of my glass is glossy. Um, it's all flat. And I think Chris's is too. So mine does not have a shine to it. Um but I, I like that idea. So I think that's cool. And Maj Paj, I think that would be, you guys, I use Maj Paj. They have a glossy Maj Paj. So that would be cool too. But I, I kind of like the flat look to it. So, um, but if I had some clear nail polish here, I would try it. But I don't. Because I don't. <laughs> but I am going to try it. You know what? I'm going to come back on one night when I have my overhead camera working and I'm going to try some, um, some shine to it. So one of the, re I have to be honest with you. One of the reasons I don't like shiny artwork is because you can't see it as well. So in my house, I had a piece of art that I bought that had glass over it and I had a wall picked out and everything and the reflection on the glass, you could not see the artwork. So I had to move it to another wall that had no exposure to sun because you couldn't see the artwork. So I like to buy art that does not have glass on it or um, matte glass that doesn't have a shine. I do make that. And I kind of like the beach glass with no shine. But to each his own, right? You guys can easily gloss it up with something. But none of these actually have any shine to them. But whatever you want, right? Do what you like. So you want to do a little, well, 
I could do a little, I, I can't do it upright, but like this one, this would be so cute with a little heart. And you could even do dad. Like you could have dad. I keep saying dad because Father's Day is coming up, you guys. But it doesn't have to be. It could be graduation, right? We have a lot of empty nesters. That would be good with the bird, like um, flying off, like Chris said. So you guys just got to think outside the Amazon box, right? What's in the box? I didn't say what's in the box tonight. What's in the Amazon box? You guys, I have been giving my paintings to the Amazon drivers. So I have, I don't know, like over 200 paintings in my in my house from my classes that I teach. And I have been leaving them for the Amazon. And they love them. They just love getting them. So I'm like, can I take a picture of you? Or can I take a video? And they, they, they're happy to do it. So, And I'm happy to go take it. Take it. So it's really, really fun. And uh, yeah, I think that I'll do this again another night, you guys, and share some more tips with you. Tomorrow with my group, we're doing hippos, learning about hippos. And uh, Jim, are you able, are you want to help me tomorrow? We can stream here tomorrow too. I'll see if I can. I, I may not be able to help tomorrow, but uh, I might be able to help That's some. That's okay. Well, you guys, it was requested by the kids. They said, asked if we could do hippos. So we're doing some silly hippos tomorrow and we're um, learning about hippos. I don't know a whole lot about hippos. So, uh, and, and I did this again with my kids last year. We did this project in, in our group. And so I thought I'd share. It's very, very popular. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free if you guys want to message me you can message me on facebook on youtube you can message me here you can follow me right what do i do jim follow follow this is high tech follow me here <laughs> um and here's my you guys there's my artist of heart paint party youtube facebook and amazon i love being on amazon so amazon is really really fun and it's my newest platform and I'm just having a great time. And again, Jim, I couldn't do it without Jim. Jim has been helping me all along. So uh, I, I'm going to do more arts and crafts. You guys, I put flip flops in there because I love flip flops this summer, right? I was like, oh, I got to put flip flops in there. <laughs> Everything that I could think of because I am just ready for summer. How about you guys? Oh my gosh. Things are opening up. People are starting to not wear masks anymore and the restaurants and bars are booking paint parties and people are going out more. So it's going to be an awesome summer. And um, you guys just keep creating, think outside the box and I'll see you soon. Thanks you guys.